there is a system and that system every system has been designed after the systems of nature and every machines after the human anatomy we are the greatest machine in addition to being one of the most in-demand performers in the Caribbean and the diaspora our dias and its diaspora he has performed in China, Europe, Central America, and other regions, you would not even expect soca to be performed. He is widely considered as the king of jab jab music, a subgenre of soca native to Grenada. Not only is he widely considered as the number one performer in the Caribbean, fans throughout the region anticipate that he will be the artist most likely to become the first global soca superstar. He is an exceptional entertainer with a penchant of creating unforgettable songs and mesmerizing performances. He is steadfastly focused on his purpose to serve as Grenada and the Caribbean's musical and cultural ambassador. He is our international Soka Mona King. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hollis Map, Mr. Killer. I want to say a pleasant good evening to the ministers, distinguished guests, media, staff of the hotel, and everyone else. I want to say a pleasant, pleasant good evening. I actually know verse two. I, I, <laughs> I think I just realized that it's easier to sing than to talk. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, I might have to literally put all of this into a song. You know? I want to say this though, that this evening, and I think that's why I think I'm a little bit nervous because this evening is a very special evening. Not just for me, not just for Grenada, but for the Caribbean. And our youths, our stars, and our gems to come. So I want to congratulate the government. I want to congratulate the organizers of such a beautiful and most of all important event like this. Please give them a round of applause. I think I'm a little bit nervous too because my whole speech, my whole, I can plan. So really and truly my speech is me and it is very important for me this evening and it's a different swing. I think the speech that they kind of gave to me was the journey to Africa, from here to Africa and stuff like that, that journey. But I want to say this, I could only express Africa in me and I don't have to travel far to go to Africa because I am yet still Africa A part of Africa lives with me the blood in my veins and my journey started like this even before me there was my mother at the age of 13 she started to have spiritual sightings where even her family would sometimes maybe beat her because they didn't understand what was happening she grew into a woman trying to understand even herself and she found a, a faith or a religion 
that could only express the things that she was experiencing or feeling. And that was the Baptist religion, which had the African expression in it. For that, she was condemned, ridiculed, pushed aside, and looked at in a funny way. But she did not stop. But then she had some beautiful children. <laughs> you know, my first brother, Audric, Glenn, Catherine, Kennedy, Betty, Nelson, and then the seventh son. Right? And my little sister. At the age of three, they, they played a little tape for me where my sister just gets your little radio. And you know the radios before with the cassette, you would actually press record and sing and you would record and stuff like that. And I was crying away in the background. All I want to do is sing too. At the age of three. And I wasn't making any sense, but I was singing. She was also singing all the wrong words for the song, I realized after. <laughs> but I wanted to record. And then it moved on from there. By the age of seven, the first thing I saw on my mother little black and white TV, them time you have to climb the house and turn the antenna to get the <laughs> signal, and the knobs will ball, click, 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 and that would be your show time. On that little black and white TV, the first thing I saw was Superman. Them time Superman wearing short pants. <laughs> and <laughs> Superman was wearing short pants at the time. And I wanted to be Superman. So my mother had to buy me my little Superman vest, my little shorts and stuff like that. You see how supportive she was. Little did she know that she was putting me in trouble. Because you see, a child do not see the impossibilities. A child only see possible things in his mind. That is why it is so important to groom our children from young. Because music, I did not find music. Music found me. The things that we give to our children is so important. Because when I saw Superman, she didn't realize, it's only later she realized that she had to bring me to the health center four times last month <laughs> because I would damage the foot, I'd jump up the house with the umbrella. <laughs> I quickly realized, well, it wasn't so quick, but I realized <laughs> that I couldn't fly. <laughs> but the next thing I saw on that little television was Michael Jackson. <laughs> and that is where it started for me. I couldn't stop dancing. I couldn't stop dreaming. I couldn't stop feeling the urge for music. It would haunt me at night. I couldn't sleep. When I wake in the morning while I'm drinking tea, I would be tapping the table. I'm a foot under the table like this. And my mother would ask, what are you doing? And I'm back in the tea. When I go to school, when I started to get licks every, every week for beating the table and dancing. By the age of 10, I started performing. I would go down the road and, you know, they have Christmas activities. Ms. Grace Duncan will give toys to the kids and they have their little show. And the mistake they make was to give me a mic. <laughs> you see? And by the age of 10, I started performing. I will take part in every competition there was. I will try to dance at any chance that I get. And that is where the vibes of life was for me as a child. Fast forwarding, I came to take part in all the talents such that I could find. Anyway, send me. And there was the big Grenada talent search boy. And that competition... I actually was doing dancehall music still at the time. Dancing and singing dancehall music. Actually, there is a judge here from Barbados. Yesterday, she told me that she judged me and she placed me second. <laughs> but I won. Oh, she's waving right there. Thank you so much, though. At least you give me second. You know? Um, but I won the talent search. Happy as a child, a young man, happy. 
but the, 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 the winning prize was a, a ticket um, to go to the U.S. Mommy organized, we organized, and I got the visa. When I get on that plane, I swear I make it. <laughs> that is it. And all in my head is that I'm going to Michael Jackson land. <laughs> Not even America. But when I got there, I quickly realized that it's completely different from where I'm from. I came out the apartment, I say hello to a woman, and she looked at me like if I was a little alien. <laughs> like that does not exist there. It was different for me. So I paid attention as a youth. I always liked to learn. So I would pay attention. And I quickly realized it is completely different. As time passed, my mother sent me to a friend that she had that was taking care of me. But I started to kind of go my own way because, you know, I'm searching. I'm trying to find music. I'm, I'm on the road. But then I, I met the wrong friends. Because America wasn't the bed of roses. I started to get weary and frustrated as a youth because I'm not finding out. No, I am lost. At least in Grenada, I could go find a way my friends and I was doing music. Now I am lost. So... I end up down the wrong road. Now, that was a journey that I had to hide from everybody. That was a journey that I also had to hide from my mother. But something will tell her she would know, but I would lie. I didn't want to. But I said, no, mommy, I'm all right. That's not a bad lie. When I put down the phone, I would cry sometimes. Because the thing is, what she instilled in me was the understanding of the wrong and the right and the values actually made me know that I am not in the right place. So at that moment, on the road with my friends, everything is wrong. I started to become, started to become very frustrated. I started to feel like if I go back home, it's like I failed. You know what I mean? I didn't find what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm here. I'm lost. I go back home. I feel like I'm going to go back home like nothing. So I decided, you know what, forget music, let me just do this thing. One of my friends got shot. Well, I can't give you all the details, but God knows. And one day, I was walking down on, it was Utica, and I saw a man on a wheelchair, his feet was cut off. That was the first time I saw a powered wheelchair, so I was staring like this. Evening, I saw a girl, her feet was like this on another wheelchair. I said, how oh, come I seen them people so today, by? <laughs> Anyways, I took it as nothing. Took it as nothing. But by the weekend, I was so frustrated. Some things happened, and I felt like there was retaliation happening, things on the street happening, and I felt like I was only going to live for about a week. I only had maybe about a week I felt. It was okay at that moment for me to feel to give up because I felt like I was lost. Now in that mood, in my mind, I had plans. And those plans was nothing good. But in the little basement apartment where I was jamming myself, I liked music so much that I gathered up all them cassettes them people will throw it from upstairs. And I would put them to play. But I will say something. The father never really lets you go. So I will put the cassettes to play. And while I put in the cassettes to play, I have the, the plans in my mind. And my plans, I'm not going to shift from it because I'm a very determined young man. If I am a footballer, I'm going to try to be the best footballer. If I am bad, I'm going to be good at it. You see? So... It's just a thing about me. I'm very determined. So in my mind, I have all these plans and I put the cassette to play and I like to clean also because, you know, with mommy, if you don't clean when the morning comes, it's licks. So I clean in the little apartment where I was and I heard a melody. The melody that I heard grabbed my attention. So I run back to the tape. But you know them time when you don't have fast forward, nothing working, then you have to flip the cassette and you have to... 
You understand what I'm saying? You don't have rewind, so you have to flip the cassette, fast forward it, and then put it back. And when I put back the cassette, I heard the melody again, and the song said to me, all the time that I'm seeing the people on the street with a, with a wheelchair and this, the father was showing me some important signs that I will then come back to because the universe is something that sends you down roads where there are always signs. Every single step determines your future. Nothing happens with just coincidence. Every single step determines your future. And that guidance from the universe, if I am an engineer of vehicles and then I want to build a 4 by 4 to go off-road, I'm going to put big wheels on it. I'm going to put a winch in the front of it. I'm going to put 4 by 4 in it. I'm going to actually put lights for when it gets dark. And I'm going to put a navigation system for when I get lost in the woods. So how the Father could then create me the most sophisticated machine ever created and don't give me a GPS system? See, so he was literally preparing me for something different. So the melody wasn't just a melody, it was a song that somebody as long ago sang that was also for me. And the words of that song said, If I was blind and I can't see the flowers blooming in the garden, I was deaf and I can't hear anything I wanted to hear. I was crippled and I can't go anywhere I wanted to go. I was dumb and I can't say anything I wanted to say. But if you can see and if you can talk, if you can hear and if you can walk, you should be grateful to the Father for what He has done. You should be grateful to the Father for what He has done. And now listen again. If I was blind and I can see the flowers blooming in the garden and the tears rush out of my eyes and I felt like somebody touched you on your shoulder and you felt weak so you start to look around to make sure nobody ain't coming and you close the door and then I'm on my knees now because there is something making me tremble from inside I remember the people I saw on the street with no feet and I said to myself but I could walk and I could talk and I could sing what about if I couldn't see the face of my beautiful mother what about if I look in the mirror and I couldn't sing and I couldn't see myself I have every single thing that I, have, that I need the father has designed me beautiful, strong, amazing Amazing, resilient and he also made me black I couldn't stop I couldn't stop crying I couldn't stop and that was the time I literally found that part of me that said you know what if there is food being thrown away why shouldn't I eat a good plate every day how much vehicles are there on the planet? Why shouldn't I drive a good one? How much houses are there? Wouldn't I live in a good one? I need to then choose who I want to be. I have the ability to be who I want to be. And from today, I promise you, Father, because if I promise myself, I might lie. So I promise you, Father, that I would not turn back. I'm going to be great. I called my mother and I cried to come home. Well, I had to try to get out of where I'm at. But then I went to have a conversation that was so deep with all the tears in my eye that that person that was hard as a rock becomes soft like flour. You see? And it was okay. I leave and I come back home. Nobody knows because I have to hide that part of me. And I started music. I saw Soka in a different light. I saw an inspector on the truck one day, and I said, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm doing dancehall music, but the world was very big at that time. Now the world is small by social media, but the world was big. I wasn't busting in the dancehall music, so I decided, you know what? Soka is it for me. Inspector one time come off the truck, and he, he touched me on my head, so I go home. I didn't even want to wash my head. <laughs> that was, that's my legend you know, and I started. When I started, I did my first song to grab, you know, the attention and stuff like that. But then after that, once I realized that people accepted me, I started to sing the gospels. But people didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't understand. They jump up to my songs all the time and re, 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 but they didn't realize. Because my soca song was saying, 
quasi nova, chura valleys, me and my soldiers all behind me, but will the hidden rain until the end of time, your king is here again. Come let us bond him So then we tell them no I'm not turning back For whatever no turning back No way I'm not turning back For whatever no turning back No I'm not turning back No way I'm not turning back No way I'm not turning back Listen the lyrics Come to burn out all Satan worshippers Satan gossipers Towards them my heart is cold like Antarctica This one rough like the chainsaw massacre Too much time them try block my party If it's block them one block Tell them come and block Lyrics enter in a belly Boss out in a back and soap them body like clock Hold on a man, tell them this carnival Lyrics enter them brain and eat out them skull like cannibal Satan this is your funeral Mix them up like mineral I would the lighter in your hand And the torch them in your hand And the gas them in the can Satan you're going to get burned But people will be jumping up now realize You know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but I was, I was singing about my journey I was singing about me not turning back I was, I was expressing that power that I now feel inside And I did songs upon songs But still they didn't understand Because when I say defense, defense, defense Them start to break down everybody defense <laughs> Everybody fans flat. I went to St. Lucia. I had to have a meeting with the, with the, um, um, with the commissioner of police, the airport fence leaning. So, <laughs> defense, defense. But then the lyric said, Wake up this morning and I set myself a mission to keep on fighting and to break down walls of Satan. No matter the size of wall, I come here to make that fall. That is the battle call. Just say, I just can't cool. You cannot take me for fool. I'm hotter than burning flame. I'm badder than raging bull defense. I keep fighting. You see, I was fighting. And that is your own fight. And I want to say this. Culture is not really external. Culture needs a host. And the culture man and the culture woman are the host of our culture. We express our culture. Our culture lives in our veins. While I was on that journey, because my mother is so spiritual, I also started to study spirituality so I could understand who she is, what she is, what is happening, and all of that. So I started to dig deep. Every country that I travel, I would find the books to read, to understand different religions, this, that, and try to educate myself as, as best as I could. And one time I read a book, and a little yellow book, it said, Free Your Mind. It taught you all about the great wonders of the world. But at the end of the book, it said, why did you read me when everything that you have read, you already know? Because it leaves in your veins. Why do a child look like his mother? Why do a child look like her mother or her father? Because your genes have memory. So in our veins, our ancestors is still alive. They have not died. Now, when I started to understand this, now this is not just for the creatives, but because the creatives, you guys are different. You guys are different. You want to dress different. Look at me. I got, I got, look at me. You guys are different. I want to big up my scheme, Francis, for, you know what I mean? Bless her love. Yeah. My scheme, Francis. Yeah. When I learned that, he also said, to know, you must know. If you don't know, then you will not know. What does that mean? If there is a wing packed in your back and you don't know that there is a wing there, you're going to run off some rock and fall. Brrr, you're tumbling down. But if I know there is a wing, I'm going to open it and I'm going to fly. So you have to know. That's why education is so important. Knowing makes you know. 
because I knew that there was genetical memory in a system that has been created by the greatest of all great, the Lord of thy Lord and God of thy God, my creator, that lived a system inside here that holds the keys to understanding what happened before and what will then also happen. Because we end reinventing the wheel. Don't think we we inventing this thing. That system, I understood that now my ideas do not come from my mind. Ideas are floating around in the universe. Our minds are like antennas. Our minds are that antenna that is actually going to break down the frequency chains and the, and the signals that are coming in. Our human beings sometimes function like a cell phone. Cell phone have, a electrical, have a battery, electrical battery that sends an electrical charge to the motherboard. You press call, you send a com- create a complete circuit. That complete circuit called furnace. Furnace called signal, signal called frequency. Now somebody in Germany picks up that phone and they're speaking to me in real time. Hello, hi, what's up? You go in real time. They don't have, that doesn't have wire. Now, how does that travel? People send pictures to your phone all the time, but you don't think about how does it reach there. There is a system, and that system, every system has been designed after the systems of nature, and every machine is after the human anatomy. We are the greatest machines. So, I learn to download instead of just think. So, ideas start flowing. Music starts flowing, and I just decide I am going to do everything in the most positive way that I can. And I am going to navigate, not just by myself, but I am going to ask the universe, the Father, to guide me. And that is how I am here today. And I explained those things so the creatives could understand. Before all the specialists and the people who understand the business part of it, you, the creative, it is different for you. You first have to know yourself. You first have to understand that what you are doing is not just you, but it is, in, it is planted in you. You first have to understand that you are special. When you go to the show, when you're on that stage, when you are painting, somebody buys your painting because it's, you're special. Somebody goes to the store and they buy clothing from Miss Fee Noel because she did something that is special. When I'm on stage and I dance and I sing, that is special because there is thousands of people in the crowd that does not do what I do. You are a creative. And there is a left brain and there is a right brain. There is control system that they have given to us that we need to learn to break as a people. This is an education that we need. Because some people, some of us, we struggle every single day. No matter how nice we dress and we come out the road, there is frustration somewhere there, sometimes lingering in our mind that we need to get rid of trying to find our way in a system that has been designed to control us, to keep us here. And we in the island here in Grenada have the opportunity to now actually break that chain, come away from the mental slavery, that application that makes us... Thank you. (laughs) To break away from that chain. There is a psychological implant in our society that actually keeps us in a certain type of bondage. For years when I want Soka Monak, and I don't want to make this political, because I will also say this, I stand firm, I am not a politician, and I stand firm for my country. Eyes green and gold, not make power. You see? And I, and I, and I think that i supposed to be free to live in that way because it's not our currency is not our dollars money only have power because we have faith in it 
our currency, our greatest currency, no nation is stones and trees. Your nation is your people and your greatest currency is your people. So, the times before, I went to places like Trinidad representing my, isle, my island, and they just left me stranded. I have to make it on my own. But creators, I never give up. There was one time when I go to Trinidad, I'm supposed to represent Grenada. I am there stranded. I lied to my mother again. I stopped lying now, though. But <laughs> I lied to my mother again. And I say, Mommy, yeah, they're supposed, you know, they're supposed to be there to, to collect me, but there was nobody there. I was just determined because I had the opportunity to perform in the Soka Monarch in Trinidad for the first time. Now when I'm there, I am lost on the street, don't know nobody, spend some time at the hotel. And one morning, I literally wake up, was crying, I go downstairs in the, in, the, um, in, in, the, in the restaurant, yeah, in the lobby, to actually get free orange juice every morning because I have to squeeze the little money that I have. On the two days before, I said, you know what? I only could spend two more days here. I'm going to have to go back home. Because, <laughs> let me, forget that. But, <laughs> I, I, let me just start now. You know, I always just start some kind of confusion. Well, let me not say that. Let's focus here. So, I was there, and I wake up, and, you know, again, the guidance, the guidance start coming. Go downstairs for the oranges. I said, nah, I don't. Yeah, I crying. Them go see me crying. I, I ain't going to... But then I went. And then I met Judah. You know Judah's song system. I met Judah. Judah said, what happened to you? I said, nothing. I try again to lie. He said, nah, killer, tell me what going. He paid for two more days in the hotel. Give me the link to the, to the people. <laughs> he gave me the... He gave me, yeah? One minute. He gave me the link to the people to actually do the show. I did the first show. After I did the first show, so much people start coming in. I start to answer the phone and play my own manager. <laughs> you understand? Make enough money to rent a house in Trinidad, get friends, and do everything on my own. I survive. Don't ever give up. <laughs> and I know, I know, next time I need an hour because I literally just started to speak. And I, want to say, and I want to say this. Never give up. And what I did is listen to the universe and I did not follow the hype. I listened to the universe. And I want to say this to the government and all the people who put this together. Don't let this great moment happen and then there is no action. Thank you. It is time to unleash. Special request while they're moving. I just want you to sing. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give Mr. Killer one more minute. Y'all remember the other day I was a club out of London. <laughs> Hello, I, I should back up for you. You need a backup singer? One minute, first verse. Now I have to sing. Well, everybody go sing with me today. And I want to sing this special song because I also want to say that Grenada, Grenada I can't sing Shadow right now. All you want to party, now it's not party time. I just want to say thanks to all the people who travel here also to actually share their love, their blessings, their knowledge, and their power and vibration with us. Thank you. <laughs> Grenada, you are the best. And I want to sing just, they say one verse. The other day me go a club out of London. 
who approached me, this beautiful woman. She said, excuse me, could I ask you a question? Me said, show sure, baby, please just prolong. The woman turned, she asked me where me come from. See me come from down a spice island. I could have see it in a she eye. She already won this island boy. She hold my hand, she pull me on the dance floor. Hold me tight and she won't let me go. When me try walk, the woman pull me back. And in a me ear, she start talk and she say the rock. She love the spice I rock. Well, welcome to the rock. She love the spice I can't hear you. What? Hey. Yeah. Thank you so you much. The spice I rock. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Killer. Such an inspiration to all of us, not just the musicians in the house, I am sure.